Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole. We are doing the final haul of the year 2019 in today's video. And not only that, it's going to be the rest of my Black Friday haul, which actually it wasn't as bad in the end. It's, it's going to be smaller than haul number one, if you did happen to catch that one. And of course, if you prefer the style of reviews in hauls, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've tried most of what I'm going to talk about, and I have some thoughts, good and bad. The vast majority of this haul is indeed going to be from Ulta, but let's actually, let's go ahead and start with some skincare. Let's get this out of the way. So I did repurchase eight greens. And by the way, if you're interested in that PR I repurchased video, I am going to do that early in 2020. I raved about eight greens when they sent it to me and I bought the large size with the, uh, the Rouge coupon from Sephora, the 25 off 75. So yeah, this is what I bought with it. I figured $25 off 78, not gonna get too much better than that. So I went for it then. I have to take this with me on the trip. I love the convenience of these. I do not want to travel without these. You know, the thing about traveling is I feel like your diet kind of, it may not be the best when you're on the road, you know, and that's that's our plan. We're going to be on the road a lot, probably eating a lot of McDonald's type of things. You know, it's just how it goes. So I figured I'm going to take these with me. All I need is water and then I can have a delicious greens drink. Ugh, I love these. They came out with some gummies I saw. I'm actually not interested in those. I'm not a gummies person. I'm a chocolate person. I mean, chocolates. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. They come out with uh, chocolate, greens. Let, let, let me know. Let me know. And then skincare. It's not a ton. I did make a Yes Style order. Oh, I hope I got the right one. Is this the right one? I'm not yet a Hada Labo person. I haven't cracked into this yet because I'm trialing things right now but I'm really excited to. Oh, so many of you guys, so many of you guys have told me, you have to try the Hada Labo Premium Gokujian Premium Lot. I don't think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, but I, apparently it's high in hyaluronic acid, so I'm excited to try it. In another PR repurchase, I did buy more of my Black Snail Restore Serum because I'm not gonna run out of this. I refuse, I refuse to run out of snail. This one I actually caught on Ulta on Cyber Monday. Anybody else? Who else got this on a Cyber Monday? Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence by Skin Food. This is kind of a small essence, but I figured I'd try it. It's actually a dropper bottle as opposed to, this feels like it's gonna be an essence slash serum. 50 milliliters essence is usually a giant container in a bottle, so we'll see. I'm excited about trying, I'm excited about trying all this. So now getting into what I bought from Ulta. I, I bought a lot of what I said I would and then a little bit more. I was on the fence about buying another Uma Stay Woke foundation. I'm honestly so glad I bought it. This is such a good foundation. It's, you know, it, you can't judge a foundation until you have it in the correct shade. You cannot, you can try mixing it. You can try like, well, well maybe it looks okay even though I look like a ghost or I look extremely green or what have you. Uh, but yeah, now that I finally tried it in T1N, I absolutely love it. This is the one I'm wearing today. At this point, you guys probably already saw me rank all my foundations of the year. One of my top foundations of the year. Love supporting this brand. Just again, really happy with it. You know, it's a, it's a more full coverage foundation. You need so little. Uh, it's, it's a good product. I also said I was gonna buy the Smith & Colt palettes, and I did, although I've only tried one so far, the Lilac Flash palette. I'm probably gonna do a video on both of these in 2020. They're such good little palettes. So it is tiny, perfect for traveling, but really high quality. You can tell a lot of thought went into picking the shades. You've got that transformer shade in here. Really well done formula. I know I wore this in some video, but I don't remember which one, whichever it is. If you're interested in seeing me wearing it, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll link it. I also did buy Dusk Blaze. This one is actually really quite, if I can get it open, this one is really quite pretty. That's a gorgeous olive matte shade in here. Uh, yeah, this is, this is prettier than I thought it would be. You have more mattes in here. I think I'm gonna take this one traveling just so I can kind of try it out, experience it more, because it's, it's, it's beautiful. I also did say I was gonna buy the Smashbox three palette shooting star set, and I did, and I love it. I love it. That little purple palette in here is amazing. I will link the video to this if you're interested as well, because I actually, actually have a get ready with me using this. It was my short get ready with me though, the one where people interrupted me. 
Yeah, that's what happened in that video. So I was towards the end and Ara brings home some guests and I, it was so funny to edit this video because in the process of editing, there's a part in the video where I see people walk in and I'm like, this sinking face of, oh no, how am I gonna finish this now? <laughs> also the gloss trio, you guys, if you can get these for 50% off, I mean, again, 12.50 for three full size lip glosses, you can't beat it. So things I was on the fence about, but did end up buying. So I bought the Pure Crystal Clear Three Piece Pro eyelash kit, and I'm wearing a pair of these today. <laughs> okay, first off, I think I'm wearing a pair. I'm not 100% confident in this fact. It very well could have been that the top two were a pair instead of down the side, but I... Hopefully this is a pair. This one looks like a pair. This one doesn't entirely look like a pair. I... Facts. I'm not the greatest at eyelashes. And related to this, and when we're talking about pure eyelashes, what I'd heard about these is that they are beautiful lashes, but not the best for beginners. I'm gonna say all of that remained very true for me in using these. Uh, so the first time, uh, this is the first time I've worn them. So when I went to apply them, I definitely messed up with each lash one time. For whatever reason, I tried my duo glue. That did not hold at all. So I went back to my stronger velour glue. I don't wanna crack into this one until I'm almost out of that. I don't use glue enough. And sometimes they seal themselves shut if you don't open them for a while. So. Yeah, I, I mean, I struggled a bit. I hope that I have them applied correctly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If you are new to lashes, there's gonna be a long period in your life where one of the lashes is kind of poking a little bit down and the other one is poking a little tiny bit up. You, you just keep practicing, you'll get there. We can get there together. But it's all true because the band is thicker on these. It definitely, it's more beautiful on. Uh, I, I did lose my eyeliner in the act of applying and reapplying, but you know, kind of looks a little bit like eyeliner anyway. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really nice, but again, what I've heard is true. They're, you're gonna struggle a little more if you're a beginner. If you're a complete beginner, I would get the kind that don't have a thick band like these do because uh, you know, it's just easier to work with those. These, you gotta kinda spend a lot of time bending them, but again, the reason that people go for more advanced lashes is the end look. So I also bought the Pure Barbie eyeshadow palette, and hey, I remember what video I wore this one in, the What's New in Skincare video. What an absolutely beautiful palette. Mm, I smell the glue for the rocks now that it's up against my face. Uh-oh. I kind of like that smell. At least y'all have me feeling better about that because in, in whatever video I asked if you guys like any strange smells, y'all had some strange comments. So we're all just living this existence together. You know what I'm saying? This is such an absolutely gorgeous palette. The pictures online don't do it justice. You've got this gorgeous multicolor glitter in here. You've got these beautiful pinks, purples. You got your standard blue. I'm a little over blue, but it, it works in this palette. This beautiful black has pink and green and purple uh, uh, glitter within it. Just, it's so pretty. And the quality is amazing. This is such a step up from what I remember pure being. I think that, I think it might just be that I tried a lot of pure in BoxyCharm and I suspect that it's a different formula. I really do. I don't know if it is, but this is just such a high quality formula that I'm, I'm interested in trying more from pure for sure. The sole reason I was interested in this in the first place is I got some PR from them through the year and I, I started thinking in my head, I'm like, Pure's looking pretty good these days. So yeah, I paid $17 for this on Cyber Monday. I am not disappointed. Did I need it? No, I absolutely did not need it. But just so you know, it is an incredible formula and a really adorable little palette. So I also bought a Physician's Formula Ultra Fine Eyeliner and I bought the Ulta Airbrush, Ulta and It Cosmetics Airbrush. What is this? Number 132. I wanted to see how this compares to the regular two-sided It Cosmetics brush. What is, what the heck is that one called? Heavenly Lux Complexion number seven, but I haven't opened this. We can open this together. I feel like they're quite similar, but the, what is this? Why is this, hmm, precision it says. I like this one for conceal, well, for kind of like all over concealer. That's a little strange though. See, I feel like it's not quite as well made as the It Cosmetics. See this brush fiber sticking up out here? You're a problem, get back down, okay. 
but they do feel similar. It'll be interesting to do more of a comparison between these two because, you know, the It Cosmetics is always more expensive than It for Ulta. So this is the Lime Crime Lip Blaze Butter and Glaze infused with cannabis sativa seed oil. Man, I gotta watch my channel. I'm in trouble with YouTube, y'all. Cream liquid lipstick in the shade Bud. So this is what I'm wearing today. I wanted to try it to be able to tell you about the formula. I kind of had a feeling I wouldn't love it and that's how I feel because I do like the Velveteens. In reality, more people dislike the Velveteens, especially these days, but I wear wigs. If I turn my head too fast, my hair, my, my fake hair is gonna go in my lipstick and it's gonna stay there for the rest of the day. So maybe I'll try this again when I'm wearing a ponytail, but yeah, it feels really hydrating on the lips. I really gotta give it that. You know, Lime Crime is really good at uh, having a lot of pigment in their products, but I've never felt like they were good at hydrating. This is, this is an exception to that. This is very comfortable on. Oh, by the way, the lipstick was indeed the inspiration for the choker. It absolutely was. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't. And Nordstrom Rack. So most of my Nordstrom Rack order was gifts. It really was. But I did buy a Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter for $3. Now I have not heard the best things about this. That's some big packaging too. Well, let's, uh, let's swatch it together. That is really glittery. I see why this didn't do well. I, didn't, I do think the vast majority of people would probably not like a glittery blue highlighter. You know what though? I'm really excited to try it. And for $3? Huh. Oh, this is the shade Admiral. Shouldn't let you know that, huh? Let's go ahead and talk about what else I'm wearing next. So this is the Ofra Soul Palette. This one was sent to me in PR. Thank you, Ofra. Uh, so this is, this is what I'm wearing all over my face and my eyes today. I thought this was such a nice idea because what this palette is, is first of all, every pan in here is removable. You can take these out as you can see right here. Uh, you get full sizes of two highlighters. This one is, uh, one, two, three, four. You get four different shades in that. Let me give you the names of these. So that one is all of the lights. And this one is Soho. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today and on my cheeks. Beautiful highlighters. You know, Ofra always does highlighters incredibly well. Then you have eight eyeshadows in here, which I'm also wearing. I did try this bronzer. I don't know if I love it because the bronzer itself is very red toned. That is the shade Sahara Dawn, but I'm wearing it under my eyes. So, you know, it's a matte. You can certainly use it. You can use anything anywhere on your face that you want with powders. Uh, I'm wearing the blush. The blush is B29. Gorgeous blush. Ooh, that's a really pretty blush. I'm wearing the banana powder as well. I've realized I do really like banana powders, especially if you are doing eyeshadow under your eyes. Uh, well, they're very helpful for kind of blending out that eyeshadow and blending out under your eye. So I always put a little tiny bit of a banana powder or a light powder on my brush and then blend out under my eye. Very helpful. And then that highlighter, I think that highlighter is going to be a little bit too deep for me, but that is the shade. Oh, wait, that's Sahara Dawn. The other one that I'm wearing is Soho. Ofra is one of those brands where I hadn't tried too much from them. I knew I loved their highlighters. Uh, but yeah, I really hadn't tried too much else from them. I knew that they uh, originally were a brand for makeup artists, and you really get that feel with this. You know, if you don't like the shades in here, switch them out with something you like more. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and travel with this guy also. Switch out a couple shades, add in some bright colors, you know me. But yeah, it, for once, you know, they're saying this is $180 value on this, but I believe them. Because these are permanent shades in here. Here's one of my permanent highlighters. You can see it's it's the full size. They are not joking. So, you know, I'm very happy with this. I do think it is a little pricey. But again, if you're looking for something that is very all-in-one, $59, you will get everything in here. Again, really well coordinated. And the mirror in here is also really nice, really high quality. I'm very happy with it. Great palette if you're looking, again, for something very all-in-one that you can customize. This is something I bought from Wander Beauty. This is the Prep and Set Essentials Kit. Three mini multitaskers. This is $24. I personally would not pay $24 for it. I got quite a nice deal over Black Friday weekend. Uh, but yeah, you get in this the gold eye patches, which I haven't tried. The lip oil, which I haven't tried. And the powder, which I was most interested in. Here's why I was interested in this. Wander Beauty's Vibe is apparently a brand for people on the go, kind of travel-friendly ideas. 
which appeals to me. So, uh, you know, this is the Play All Day Translucent Powder, and the idea with it is that the powder is actually, as opposed to being stored in the compact, it's in the puff. Good idea, in theory. Bad in execution, I would say, because you gotta beat your face with this thing. If you're trying to just lightly dab this on, you don't get any powder out whatsoever. You gotta actually smash it up against your face. But yeah, that was such a huge miss to me because that is the reason I bought the set. I knew we were going out of town. I was like, oh, maybe I can just take my powder inside of a powder puff. This sounds so great. We're gonna be taking traditional powder. I ain't got time to beat myself. Mm -mm. I beat myself up enough. I ain't got time to actually beat myself. One more package for this haul. One more package. It's gonna be something that, well, I'm just gonna tell you. It's gonna be my New Year's Eve costume. Costume. Now, before you see this, keep something in mind. I may come off as very quirky. I blame my city for this to a large extent. I don't blame my city, I thank my city for this because my quirkiness really thrives here. Uh, you know, for New Year's Eve, most girls in uh, New York, Los Angeles are planning on wearing a silver mini dress and I guess freezing their butts off. And I am planning on wearing a robot bodysuit. This is by the brand Bedinka, which means uh, for once a brand I saw on Instagram actually got me to buy through them. Usually I see brands on Instagram and I'm like, oh, an Instagram brand. Okay, I could not resist this. I'll put up a picture. I'm not going to put up my outfit because I haven't worn it yet. And you can't wear a robot bodysuit without the right wig and makeup. Come on, you can't just throw it on. So I'll put up their picture and you can see that. This is really nice. This is not low quality. It was not cheap. <laughs> it was not, it was not cheap. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited about this. Got the zipper in the back. Oh, I'm gonna be warm. I'm gonna be warm on New Year's. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.